everyone, my name is Rebecca. I run the Curious Flea Vintage Store on Etsy and today's video is another What Sold video where I'm going to go through with you exactly what I sold this week and how much I've got for it. And I thought I would start down here in the office because it's where I've been keeping. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> because that's where I've been keeping these beautiful oil paintings that I picked up the other week from Hexham Car Boot Sale. I think you will have seen these in one of my latest videos. Um, I had the car boot footage where you saw that I paid £10 for four of these and then we had the little hole here in the office where I went through exactly what I bought and I showed you them up close. So I have sold all of these within the first week of me listing them, which is absolutely amazing. Um, so I paid £10 for all of them, £2.50 a picture, and I sold three of them to the same buyer for £125 altogether, and he bought the pair for £85 and a single for £40. I have then sold this one, which was my favourite with the beautiful green flowers. This has sold for £75, and this has gone to America. So, lessons learned from today's video is if you see pretty oil paintings, buy them. <laughs> Especially if they're in these frames. To be honest, I think these frames have been a massive selling point for these pieces. I mean, the colours are gorgeous in this one, um, but the other ones were just fruit bowls. They were quite dark, um, but something in a frame like that is just really eye-catching and beautiful. So, yeah. Watch out for something like that. I certainly will be from now on. Um, art's not something I tend to buy a lot of because it can be quite hit and miss, but I will definitely pick more of it up now and something that I'm gonna try and learn a bit more about. So yeah, we'll get to picking the rest of the, the things that I've uh, sold this week. It's been a lot better this week um, for sales. So I'm hoping that continues into the next week coming for this video. I had a week a couple of weeks ago where I sold hardly anything, but everyone has those weeks. You've just got to keep going, keep plowing on. So let's get to picking the rest of the orders. For the first jewelry sales of this week is this purple bracelet here, which has sold for 10 pounds. It's just like a gold tall metal with pretty purple glass beads in there really gorgeous and another one which is a really good sale is these beautiful they're clip-ons but they've got absolutely gorgeous bright red glass sparkly stones in there that sold for 15 pounds plus shipping and they're going to america up in the loft here i've sold a beautiful lacquered box it's this one here it's gorgeous i love these like oriental wooden lacquered boxes and they always do sell really well so this is sold for 30 pounds that's free shipping on etsy so it'll cost me up to four pounds if i send it tracked and signed which i do like to do just for my own peace of mind but it's a really pretty thing and i'll just put this back and next up is the little piece of art that I got for 20 pence at Hexham. It's just this cute little frame. I think someone's probably bought it mainly for the frame because this is just probably a printed piece on paper or something like that. This is sold for £12. That again is free shipping, um, but it's a really gorgeous frame. So that was a nice quick sale from 20 pence. This vase I've had quite a long time, um, but it's finally sold for £12. It's a pretty piece, just not hugely valuable. I would have liked to get a little bit more, but I'm just happy to get things gone at the moment. So £12 plus shipping for that one. And back of the room, just there, is another little sale. This is sold for £8, the Cadbury's Chocolate Biscuit Tray. I thought it would be worth a little bit more than that, but £8 is about the right price for what these go for. So again, a fairly quick sale on that. 
another little flurry of sales today for £10. I've sold this little sugar bowl here. It is Alfred Meakin Glow White. It's a really cool retro design, so that's sold for £10. I've sold this little hook here. I think I paid about 20 pence for this. This has sold for £8. It's just a wooden panel with a hook. It probably had like a shoe brush or a clothes brush on it at one point, but I've managed to sell just that for £8. I've also sold this up here. It's like a hand carved tribal head. It's really cool. I love all that texture. And that has sold for £20 and that's going with global shipping abroad. So yeah, it's a good little flurry. I'll uh, pop back if I sell anything else. These fuzzy little My Little Pony creatures have sold. The hair's in a bit of a state. Got this pink one and two little Pegasus ponies. These have sold for £12. And this little fella, he's a little, I think he's, what is he? Leonardo collection. Tiny little Toby jug. He has sold for £7. And just back there, this letter rack here has sold for £17.50. Ooh, let's get this down. There we are. It's really cute, this. It's like brass. It's got a pretty picture of a pub. And you can hang it on the wall, so that's cute. So, £17.50. £7 for the little guy and £12 for the My Little Ponies. One of these jewellery boxes is sold this week as well. Get it out. Oh, dear me. Drawers are flying everywhere. Let's see. There we go. This is sold for 18. I picked this up at Hexham the other week for a pound. I've had this two times now. Adorable. There's a couple of bits on this shelf which have sold. This candlestick here. It's the first one. Has gone for 15. It's really ornate and pretty gorgeous that's silver plates and the next one is this it's like a candle a vintage saint michael candle in a ceramic swan that's super cute it's never been out of its box so that's also gone for 15 pounds in the other room i've sold a rolled doll book which i think is right down the bottom there so that's this one here, the Royal Doll Treasury. This is sold for £10. It's just a collection of Royal Doll poems and stories. Love Royal Doll. Back in the main storage room in the loft, I've sold this cute little tie rack. This has gone for £14 plus shipping. It's very 70s. And what else? There's one more thing. Oh pair of photo frames which I think are in here yes it's these gilt photo frames here these frames are really popular you remember if you watched my videos that I sold the oil paintings that were in this type of gilt painted wooden frame these two frames here I picked them up at the same car boot sale be maybe a couple of months ago now and they had like cheap little printed pr prints in them so I've took the prints out and I've sold the frames on their own for £39 on Etsy. Shipping's got to come out of that, so that'll be four, th that'll be about £4. So £35 profit from a 40 pence investment. Now in the chunky necklace section, I saw this one here. It's like Baroque Pearl. Really cute necklace. It's got a gorgeous fish fish hook clasp really pretty this is sold for 14 pounds that's free shipping i've just picked these next three things because it's getting quite dark in here so i thought i would just get them under the light so you can see them properly and the first one is this lovely little sword brooch you'll remember that from last week i think it's the stratton it's not a brooch sorry it's a tie clip 
but it doesn't look like it's ever been out of the box. It's got the mother of pearl inlay there, so that's sold for £18. These little ducky creatures, these are like abstract, modernist, little wooden bird sculptures and it turns out that they're possibly by an artist called Louise Hedderstrom. Never heard of her before but when I searched for the photos she does this kind of design and she has made birds like these. Um, so these have sold for £28 and I only had these listed for a few days because I actually forgot that I hadn't listed them. So that's a really quick sale. And I picked those up when I got that box of old pomanders for a pound. So I got a load of pomanders and then these were in the bottom there as well. So that's pretty much pure profit. They cost next to nothing. And this next one is this old book. It is, I think it's an encyclopedia. This is sold for £20. The Family Health Encyclopedia. It's a nice chunky book. So that's tonight's three little sales that I'm about to pack up. And just up here is this cassette tape case, which is sold for £11. I do usually pick these up if I see them cheap enough, um, because they do sell. People do still have cassettes. And these things are, obviously you can't buy new anymore, so people can only buy second hand. So they're not a great deal of money, so £11 for that, but still, I think I paid about 50 pence. Hello, it's me. I've been away in the Lake District for four days. And I've sold about nine things, which is good. But now it's like half seven at night and I've got to get all these things packed because they're all due to go out today. So I'll pick those things now for you and then that'll probably be the end of the video. So the first one is in here. It's that gorgeous chunky cloisonne bracelet that I got from Hexham the other week. This is sold for 25. It's really beautiful. I love that turquoise blue enamel inside. So yeah, 25 pounds for that. This jewelry box back here sold for 10 pounds. It's just one of these snapshot boxes. It's like a dusky pink with velvet. So not a huge amount, but 10 pounds, not bad. That'll be nice and easy to pack up. I've sold a lot of fans. There they are. They're just like the typical Spanish fans. I picked these up in a lot. I got like a job lot of various bits and bobs on eBay last year in the lockdown and they were in there. So I've just sold them as a bundle and they've gone for £17.50, which is really good. This wonderful floral masterpiece <laughs> sold for £17.50. It's a set of four fabric napkins and these are placemats. Really gorgeous. £17.50 on those. I've had those for quite a while, but as I say, people must be buying things for their Christmas tables. So I've actually just bought another set of placemats, fabric placemats and serviettes again at the car boot sale at the weekend. So I'm going to get them on as quick as possible if to catch that Christmas market and let's see if we can pick these last three things and remember where they are so this is sold for £13 I believe this is the Shokan Art little vase really cute oriental style I've sold a little figurine and I've had this for literally I think three or four years I try not to buy figurines anymore because they do tend to stick around for a while unless they're a really collectible sort of to make. But yeah, it's just a little known, I think. She's just doing some sweeping. But that's finally sold as well for £13, so I'm pleased with that. And the last one is £10, I believe. I think it's in here. Let's see if I can find it. Hmm. It's like a wooden picture of a deer. Oh, I think I can feel it. There it is there. Gorgeous. It's like a hand-carved wooden plaque. Really cute. Signed Fisher. Beautiful. £10. And I think that wraps up my sales. I better put these back before I break them. Put those back there. So yeah, I'm going to get all those wrapped now. I, um, I've got two more things that I'm waiting for payment for, which I don't know if that'll happen. 
but we'll see if I do have those to pack up maybe in the next video so that'll be it for this week's what's sold video I'm lying I've sold that and I've just remembered as I've panned over it dearie me my Etsy customer would not have been pleased if I forgot that this is sold for £24 I love boxes they always seem to sell really well they're usually relatively cheap to pick up this is just a velvet I think inside the usual mirror velvet beautiful design so that is that so that'll be the end of this week's what's sold video hope you enjoyed it if you see anything you fancy as usual just head on over to my Etsy store my Instagram is in the link below if you click onto my Instagram store and click through to my Etsy there's a 10% 10 10 discount code applied so if there's anything you fancy on these many many shelves do let me know thanks for watching bye